I love feeding spiders. It's exciting, but calming at the same time. My name is Lila Seidman, and I write about wildlife and the outdoors for the Los Angeles Times. Recently, I was hiking in my neighborhood and noticed a black beetle. It was a type I've seen countless times before, but I didn't know it was called or what it was about. That's why I started this series, to get to know my neighbors, furry neighbors, slimy neighbors, and today, our less noticed neighbors, bugs. This is Animal LA. I linked up with Lisa Gonzalez, an entomologist, aka bug scientist, from the LA County Natural History Museum to get the lowdown on local insects, spiders, and more. We took a walk in Debs Park in Northeast LA, and I quickly realized I knew pretty much nothing about this city's bugs. In LA, we have such incredible insect and spider diversity. We have about three, 4,000, actually that number's probably much higher species of different kinds. Near a parking lot, Lisa spied a gorgeous Kelly green spider hanging out on a bloom of buckwheat. She said it was a green lynx spider. This type of spider is typically gonna sit in bushes, sit close to flowers, or in this case, even on the flowers, and she's waiting for an unsuspecting pollinator to come by and feed on those flowers, and then she will grab them and eat them. Lisa said the spider made herself easily known by perching on the white flower, but I would have walked right by. There's this whole microscopic miniature world that's full of intrigue and drama and mystery. Most people never get to see it. You have to slow down and attune yourself to these tiny visual cues. This is a, a kind of a joke about going on a hike with an entomologist. If you want to get to the waterfall, it's probably going to take 10 hours because we stop every <laughs> foot or so and point out all the things that we're seeing. And to make matters more tricky, many bugs are not what they seem. Lisa told me that Southern California is home to more than 400 different kinds of bees, but many flies mimic bees and wasps. It can be handy in a bug-eat-bug -bug world to appear to have stinging abilities. This is a, a bee fly. Flies, ooh, you could have me talking about flies all day. Like spiders, they're very misunderstood. The bee-like fly is a parasite. It flies low to the ground, seeking out nests of other insects, typically bees, to lay its eggs in. A hefty flying insect that resembled a carpenter bee that we came across? That was a pollinating flower fly. This is the largest flower fly that we have in LA, the uh, Mexican cactus fly. As for the beetle that inspired this series, we didn't come across one on the hike, but I learned it was a darkling beetle, also known as a stink beetle. Lisa said she might even select it as the patron bug of LA. They're pretty iconic. When uh, people take hikes, they see them kind of walking across the path. Sometimes they'll stop and, and stick their hind end up, and that's giving you a warning that they can give off a really bad smell, which is uh, one of the ways they protect themselves like a skunk. For Lisa, bugs were a way to go on grand adventures without ever getting on a plane. She grew up taking in wondrous images of faraway places in National Geographic. She teared up while reminiscing. We have a lot of wildlife in LA, but if you're living in Whittier and you have a little tiny backyard, what are you gonna find? You're gonna find bugs. It gave her access to a miniature parallel universe in our midst, the one most people don't get to see.